Good morning, esteemed Coca-Cola executives. Today, we're excited to present our group's marketing recommendations for Coca-Cola based on consumer behavioral analysis concepts. Our goal today is to address marketing problems found from our previous research task and present to Coca-Cola an appropriate recommendation to turn this problem into an opportunity. After some analysis, our group found that they had two main marketing problems. The first one being their unsustainable business practices and then the second being that there's poor attitude and perception surrounding Coca-Cola's business practices. So in order to create a strong recommendation to combat these marketing problems, uh, it's important to see where Coca-Cola stand in the marketplace. We all know Coca-Cola is a household name. They have refreshing drinks and a very, very strong goodwill. But in recent years, it's been found that Coca-Cola's annual revenue has decreased by 1.8%. This may be because of the decline in demand for soft drinks in general. In Coca-Cola's latest attempt to promote its campaign, Coke Studio, it was increasingly obvious that they do need to overhaul their business practices in order to appeal to their target audience being Generation Z consumers. So the overall presentation uh, is going to go over how Coca-Cola can boost company sales, change their consumer attitudes and perceptions, build brand awareness, and obviously promote uh, Coke Studio. So Coca-Cola's main marketing problem is their unsustainable practices, specifically their use in uh, use of plastic in their packaging, which is causing uh, plastic pollution. Uh, for a company as big as Coca-Cola, this is a pretty significant issue. And for consumers such as the Generation C consumers, which the Coke Studio campaign is trying to target, uh, they're pretty much not happy about this. There has been a demand for Coca-Cola to start adopting more sustainable practices, maybe by using bio, bio, uh, biodegradable material, but we'll get into that in the recommendation. Uh, so there has been a demand to stop this. Uh, because of this, Coca-Cola's reputation has been tarnished. Problem two is the poor consumer attitudes and the bad perception of the Coca-Cola brand. It is clear to see that we've seen a major shift with Generation Z's purchasing behaviors, which doesn't quite align with Coca-Cola's marketing strategies and business practices. This misunderstanding is due to Coca-Cola using unsustainable packaging, having lackluster marketing campaigns that doesn't quite grasp the younger audience, while using uninspiring soft drink flavors. Due to this, we've seen, we're seeing competing brands gain a competitive edge over Coca-Cola as they are able to grasp the younger audience attentions with their marketing campaigns and products. Me and my group believe that Coca-Cola need to adapt quickly and meet the demands of the consumers. If not, it will greatly affect Coca-Cola's marketing campaigns. For recommendation one, we are proposing for Coca-Cola to, you know, adopt more environmentally sustainable and friendly uh, practices into their business. So in lecture five, um, the importance of problem recognition was brought up. And we think it's a problem about uh, uh, Coca-Cola's problem is mainly due to their plastic pollution, which is, you know, uh, neg negatively impacting their perception within the market. So through addressing this issue, we think, we want to address this through um, the packaging that they're going to create. So we want to create more um, biodegradable materials into their packaging. So it will be easy to easier to recycle. So we think this is a great um, option for Coca-Cola to implement um, a better form of packaging. So this can um, reduce the amount of um, pollution that they create. Another recommendation we want to present to Coca-Cola is to um, implement educational campaigns which are revolved around recycling. So I think this would be a great opportunity for Coca-Cola to connect with their Gen Z audience. Um, linking back to a lecture uh, one where it talked about motivation, the importance of motivation and realizing the actual state and the ideal state. So ideally we want Coca-Cola to, you know, have a great connection with their younger generation audience and understand that they um, change the negative perception 
um, into a more positive perception about their um, company. Campaigns, we want them to have the guest speakers, activities and trivia quizzes. So with the guest speakers, we're thinking of having um, influential people come to the schools and, you know, give give them a little bit of an insight onto Coca-Cola's um, direction that they're going in, the direction that Coca-Cola's going in. And, you know, um, through activities and little games and recycling games that we want to implement, such as like little fashion shows um, involving recycling, we think it would be great, you know, to just, you know, for Coca-Cola to have a, you know, good connection with their audience. So I think school events is would be a great opportunity. Reflecting on week six's theory on judgment and decision making, our group suggests that Coca-Cola engage more in community initiatives that promote a healthy lifestyle. This will allow Coca-Cola to build a positive connotation surrounding their brand. In the eyes of the Gen Z um, consumers, this will remove discrepancies surrounding Coca-Cola's controversial practices. We also suggest that Coca-Cola hire a guest speaker, a very influential one to the Gen Z demographic. This will leave a lasting impression and overall increase the reputation and appeal of Coca-Cola. Our campaign will employ multiple channels to increase our campaign's exposure to the consumers. Trad traditional transit advertising has been a classic for Coca-Cola and plays a key role in consumers' motivation as consumers are actively being exposed to our campaign daily during their day-to-day -day operations. Social media channel is another channel that is also important as it allows the campaign to reach a greater audience globally. Lastly, channels such as television advertisements and radio advertisements should also be considered as they also play a key role in reaching, reaching a larger audience, which is key to a successful campaign. We think addressing plastic pollution and improving customer perception, especially among Generation Z consumers, are crucial for Coca-Cola's Coca future success. The recommendations to switch to uh, eco-friendly packaging and engage in educational campaigns uh, aligns with the current sustainability trends that could improve Coca-Cola's reputation. Partnering with health organizations and sponsoring events promoting healthy lifestyles could also help change consumer perception, particularly among younger audience. Overall, our suggestions could help Coca-Cola adapt to the to the changing consumer perceptions, uh, preferences, and improve its brand image.